Nothing affects fantasy football more than quarterback injuries, either because of the injury to the quarterback or the impact on everybody else around him. Matthew, let's start with Matthew Stafford. Not yet officially in the concussion protocol, but it looks like he will be. He just got out of it on Friday. He missed a game the last time he was in it. It'll be Bryce Perkins or John Wolford. Wolford was inactive on Sunday with a neck injury. We already don't have Cooper Cup. The offense hasn't been anything close to what it's been in past years under Sean McVay. Do you just scratch off every Rams player from your fantasy rosters moving forward? Basically, yeah. I, I mean, look, Allen Robinson scored a touchdown today, and you know, I mean, maybe there's some there's some uh, hope for Tyler Higby, who's been a very productive fantasy tight end this year. Not really this, you know, this week it was a tough matchup against the Saints, but honestly, no. I mean, like they haven't run the ball effectively. The wide receiver, besides Cooper Cup, have been kind of a mess and inconsistent this year. And when you think about where the Rams' season is, you feel like, does Matthew Stafford play again this year? Because you know I mean? you got to think about the long-term health of this guy. And same with Cooper Cup. Why bring him back in a season that's lost? And so with either of those guys not playing for the Rams the rest of the year, which that would be my expectation as we sit here today, like, who on this team do you feel like you could get consistent fantasy value from? I... You know, it just it feel it's weird to say about a Super Bowl champion team that's coached by Sean McVay, but as we sit here tonight, it just doesn't feel like there's any fantasy relevant players on the Rams that you feel like you could trust week in, week out. And we do hope that all the right decisions are made by and on behalf of Matthew Stafford. 100%. Because his situation didn't produce any dramatic videos like Tua Tonga by Law. I don't think it's getting the same kind of attention, but we're talking about Two concussions potentially in back-to-back -back games, and hopefully they they get him properly taken care of. And if it does make the most sense to shut it down for the rest of the year, then here's hoping that's what they do. Justin Fields, the Bears quarterback, has an injury to his non-throwing shoulder. Matthew, he said that he's in a lot of pain. X-rays were taken. I don't know whether or not they were negative or positive. More tests are going to be done. Plus, we saw that he had a hamstring issue. This is what happens when you have a guy who is running the ball and running the ball and running the ball. There's a chance he's going to get injured. And he had become a great, great player so far in his second NFL season. Yeah, you hate to see this. And, you know, as we sit here tonight, we don't know the severity of the injury. We're hoping for the best. Justin Fields, one of the most exciting players this year in the NFL and in fantasy football. He's been a top five fantasy quarterback basically since week four, and somebody who over the last couple of weeks has been the number one quarterback in fantasy. So he's been great in real life. He's been great in fantasy football. We are hoping for the best. If Justin Fields is to miss significant amounts of time, the fact of the matter is, is that he was the starting quarterback on a lot of fantasy managers' teams. So if you're looking for a quarterback to replace Justin Fields, if he misses time here, and obviously as we sit here tonight, doesn't look great, um, you know, we hope for the best on Justin Fields. He needs to get healthy, young, talented player. I'm just going to throw in a couple names for you here uh, as you sort of look to the waiver wire in terms of guys that might be available. In more than 50% of Yahoo leagues, how about Ryan Tannehill, who's had 19 fantasy points in both his games since returning? Marcus Mariota, 17 or more fantasy points in five of the last seven. The rushing keeps his floor high. Tough matchup against the Commanders coming up on Sunday. On the other side of the ball in that game, Taylor Heineke, who... Didn't have a great fantasy game either the last two weeks as they've been very run heavy. However, it's a great matchup with the Falcons who allow the fourth most passing yards per game to opposing quarterbacks. Their bottom 10 in terms of most fantasy points allowed to opposing quarterbacks. And then finally, Jacoby Brissett has one more week as the starter for the Browns. He plays Tampa Bay this week. And it is worth seeing if Deshaun Watson is available in your league as he'll be back in week 13. And as to Heineke, Ron Rivera, the coach of the commanders, said today, he's the guy. I think we all kind of knew that. But the coach finally said it. And back to the Bears, similar concept with Fields as with Matthew Stafford. You get to a point where we just got to shut it down and think about next year because the Bears are sliding out of contention very quickly in the NFC playoff. We're going to slide out until next week. Enjoy the games and happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. We'll see you real soon. Thanks, Mike. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.